Comes up the mark, that's a good start. Oh, could be a run out. He's gone, his first match, is he? Oh, the show was wide. That could have been a run out from McCollum on debut. Good shot. It's a confidence build up, it's four runs. Randall McCollum, 20 years of age on debut. If he can get runs against this attack, it's a great launching pack for his career. Oh dear, he's gone. Oh, that's sad. On the go, he called. Richardson should have responded. That's my feeling. And the young man was run out. That's a tragedy for him. This is the third time Richardson's been involved. Now, this cat has pushed it. He's seen the gap. Richardson's got to go. They've got to help him out on debut, and I think he's sold him down the river. So, McCollum's debut ends. Very poor fashion. One he'll want to forget quickly. He's gone for five, one for 13. Lou Vincent, the new batsman. This could be two. Lou Vincent fast enough to get two, but he got himself tangled up. Well, that's in the air, going over the top of Gully, down towards the boundary. Will this be the second boundary? Yes, it is. head well, that's uh, sport that all things for all immediately a great shot this is a wonderful cricket shot first up driving through extra cover this is what I mean about being a contest just to put down the wicket towards the ball and not necessarily towards the ball Richardson first up has got the slider from Warren. This is a very good piece of work on debut. I think his thinking leading into this match today is how am I going to keep the shame up? And that's not a bad start, is it? 3 for 81, 25 overs. So the halfway point from a New Zealand point of view and the most crucial partnership of the innings. McMillan and Cairns. McMillan 14 off 17 already. Big switch, sex all the way as she goes. That's what they needed. No one taking on Shane Wall. Good baby. Nice little dab. Going all the way. Well played, Craig McMillan. The crowd's going to walk this partnership. Chris Cairns, 
happening New Zealand today, and they're now five for 137. Uh, we're back into the attack. That should be out. Michael Bevins, the man, getting under it, and he's taken it very comfortably. Now the bowling change has worked for Steve Waugh. Styles was the man, trying to go over the top. He succeeded in giving Michael Bevins a simple catch of it off. So it was a bit of a looser, but it could have been Harvey's slower delivery, but Yep, it was. He's rolled it out of his fingers, cut down on it, slow ball, first ball. You've got to be pretty good to be able to do that. It's 6 uh, for 182, with Michael Bevan taking the catch to send Starris back to the pavilion. He's in the keeper, Adam Brore. It's now out the centre. Certainly is a big one. That is well, the best part of a dozen rows back. That's what happens when you start to hurry three rovers. So we just an interested in getting the ball down there, getting three over. And Paul Ray says, I like it about there. It's right in the slot for my slot sweep. Pretty ordinary effort in the stands, though. That is out. Well, it was a full toss, and I did him. And Pelore, quite rightfully saw it as a full toss. Went to take him all the way. Didn't get it out of the middle. Mark Moore doesn't drop loose. That's it, uh, straight down his throat. And Warren grabbed his cap and was away from the umpire, just walking away quickly so as uh, everyone can be in a position of first ball to congratulate one another. It's seven for 210. And the Tory is a new batsman. He's the non-strikers end. Look at form off the last ball Shane Ward's over. That's dropped. Michael Bevan was the man, our third man. He made good ground of it. In the end he got there very comfortably. But the ball just fell out. Very good solid ball. And Daniel Tory could probably consider himself a bit unlucky that Harry Ryan Campbell's got another catch. Michael Bevan there, he'll be a relieved man. Coming in, tapping the bowler, saying, uh, thanks mate, sorry about the one I dropped. This is a good solid ball. Took the pace off it, it bounced a bit of overspin there. Through Ryan Camp. So Daniel Vittori's stay at the crease is short. He departs for two. He's in on now 8 for 216. James Franklin is the new man. Change of pace to 109 watts. New Zealanders are done. They've scored around about oh, between 6 and 7 over in that period. Really struggled early on in this period here. He's got another boundary. That's superb timing. And they'll be running. And James Beck will be running off the last ball of the innings. And New Zealand, though, has done particularly well. And Franklin will be running up for five. Eight for 235. New Zealand, Australia need 236 for 50 overs and a required run rate of 4.72. We'll see you back here at the SCG. All the run chunks. Mark War off the mark. Good pick up by Lou Benson and he's hit them. Umpire Taufel has fought for the replay. It's going to be very, very close. Mark War may have just been at home. It's close. It's not looking good. Mark War has gone. It's a brilliant piece of fielding. Even more so now that he's got the wicket. Was it that? One for one. That's a lovely shot. Beautifully struck there by Ryan Campbell. That hurts the bowler. It's got the potential to hurt the whole New Zealand team. The heads will go down. 
ball and wide, trying to swing it away rather than seam it in. And he goes to journey. Edge and Dewaray hasn't dropped it. So Pondy took a long time to look up at the umpire. But so Bob Curry had the finger there waiting for him. So Shane Bond finally gets a bit of luck. Didn't learn from the ball before Ricky Ponding. He flashed it a wide one. It was called wide. This time Shane Bond takes it away from him. Fantastic bowling. It had all been going into the right-handers. Take that. Ponting's gone. Michael Bevan on strike now facing Shane Bond. He's just got rid of Ricky Ponting. Mark Waugh's back in the pavilion. So it's been a terrific start from New Zealand. Apart from a couple of chances going down. Campbell, good response from Campbell, down and off the mark. That's well played. Speaky with well played. So Chris Gans has taken the ball now. Oh yes, and uh, took off late too, didn't he? Very good judge of a run. That's a good shot. And into the fence for four. It's in the gap that's well through the ceiling one. Gilbert is starting to find some touch here and it can be very, very dangerous. That's four. Well for big straight hit, that could go all the way. There she goes, that six. That's better than his best. Great footwork. Then on the pitch, hitting to one on. It's a perfect play. One hit. At the time he hits the ball in the air, so I dare say they might try and play the way they play the best, which is Campbell trying to do that. But he's exceeded only hitting straight to mid wicket. It's fun round the wicket, angled in, then spun and stopped on him. The pull shot was not on then because he was falling back from it, and it's Harris bowling from one end now takes the catch off Vittori, who gets the breakthrough. He's got one for 20 now. Campbell. Debut over, it's three for Monday out. That's nice and fast. That's the upfield as we've said all day. It's extremely quick. And has raced across it. Chris Cairns leads a wicket and turns to his strike bowl. The Wars bowling changes mostly work for him, and now Shane Bond's done the job for Chris Cairns. A couple of wides, but he recovers a short ball. Grab Steve Ward. That's what he'd done to Mark Ward the first over. And Chris Harris does the rest. He is a danger behind point. He hasn't shown it so far this tournament, but he's back. It's 4 for 118. He's on 49, and he's on strike. He's left up the way on the outside. Big cheer goes up there. Bevan's half century. That's his uh, flip of the SCG. First slip. Bevan has gone. Now there's a problem for Australia. He's the one who's controlled the game. He steered that. So it looked from here, instead of uh, having it go down to third man, it went straight to first slip. Pretty much off the bend of the back. Angle back, catch taken quite safely, and Cairns has broken through for his team. Five for 174. <laughs> Captain Yorker is coming. That is about the worst way to get out. The uh, job of uh, keeping his head out there. Chris Cairns gets almost a fingernail. Flicks it onto the stumps. Maybe Martin's on his way. In the air, and it's out! That's a soft dismissal. That's a big one for New Zealand. Good a bit of injury up there. Hardly just poking at the cover. And he's gone. No pace on the ball when Harris bowls, so Harvey decides to 
going to try and make his own, but he's never to it. He changes his mind halfway through the shot. And now he makes the long, lonely walk back here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Six from 15, seven for 181. Shane Moore. There it goes. There's a man out there who's not quite square enough. It's four. Oh, it's just about to point that man out. I don't think he's anywhere near straight enough for Shane Warren. That's his perfect hitting slot. Big shout for old day. He's given in. Yes, he was back. He took a while. I'm calling Bob Curry. Had a good look. He was left down over the wet with the pitch is straight. And then eventually you can see where the pitch did mine. And he's gone. Ian's packed him on the back, so much of Pat Cairns on the back. It's pitched in line all right. He's back on his stunts. It's hit in the top and middle for me. That's out. Bob Parry agrees. And Franklin, he looks stunned, doesn't he? But he's got the breakthrough. It's 8 for 188. It's a hard stopper at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Jason Westby comes to the press. There it is. Oh, my God, there's a man coming around. Can he get to it? He's at it. He doesn't get to it, he doesn't touch it. He'll go on the right. Four oh, being signaled by the other man coming in. He really should have made some ground there. It was a high ball. It was bond. Didn't get a hand on it. Well, uh, Richardson is signaled for, and it is four too. It's bounced uh, about a metre or so inside the rope, I would say. But uh, umpire Torfo is not prepared to take the word of uh, fielder running round. So he's gone upstairs for our verification, which you'll get right now. It has bounced inside the rope by about a metre. Sad, isn't it? It was a good shot from Shane. And Warren has it on his shoulders and his back. I think so most of them inside the rope. I think they should be back here. They're running. It's very hard to run back. Here he goes again. A high hit. Surely this time he's out. Richardson, he's not a great catcher. This time he holds it. And that's a match winning patch. There he goes again. He's not the best person in the world. He took that one under pressure. It's nine for 203. With one catch, it's probably one match for New Zealand. It was a catch you should always be taking. But you have that horrible feeling when the eyes of the world are upon you. It's called pressure, and he's answered the call. Good save catch. What a mild celebration. They are nine for 203. When McGuire at the crease joins Jason Gillespie. It's going to be a victory for New Zealand. He's up there, it's been set. He's got it. This has been another presentation from Nine's Wide World of Sports.